Hello and welcome everybody to today's Thursday Live. I am Denise Arminio, emotion certified emotion code, body code practitioner, and a genius biofeedback practitioner. And I am here with Claire McIntyre and Connie Minnis, and they're going to help assist me um, in the chat while I run a genius session on a volunteer that I have for today. So in just a minute, I'm just gonna um, welcome Donna in here. Um, but I thought for today that we can work with entangled insights and how I work with them when trying to clear um, in the spiritual protection um, library. So, um, and with that said, I just want to go and share my screen here. Oops, and I need to back out. And I want my portrait view. So welcome, welcome, Donna. Hi, how are you? Are you, can you unmute? Can you hear me? I can. Well, I'm well. How are you? I'm good. I'm so glad you're here. So since I have already worked with you before, whoops, what just happened? My share screen just went out. Front row. Hold on. Um. Uh, somehow, I don't know what just happened, guys. <laughs> Wait a second. My, I just lost my. Um, I have to move all my things. I'm saying I put my genius in the trash. I don't know what it's talking about. All right. Sorry, I'm having a little technical difficulties, guys. One second. Um, Claire, do you think you could share screen on yours? Oh, but then I won't be able to do it. Um, I just, I can't hear you guys are. Not bring the genius up, is it not? Um, yeah, for some reason it's, oh, there it is. I don't know what happened. That's weird. Um, okay, you can't see that yet, right? Correct. Now you can, right? Yeah. Okay. So I, what I was saying was I've already worked with Donna, so I can just go into access your client records and I'm just going to type in her name and there we go. Okay. So here you are. So I'm going to ask for you to give me your voice recording. So I'm just going to count you down. I'll say three, two, one, begin. And then you know what to do, right? Okay, here we go. Three, two, one, begin. A, E, I, O, U, Donna, Lee, Smell, A, E, I, O, U, A, E. Great. Okay, so now I'm just gonna play the voice harmonics down on the bottom left for you. And that is what you just recorded and the genius has translated it into um, frequencies. So here we go for that. Okay, and sorry, I just have to move all my controls around. They're all in the way here. Okay, so now we can just go to next. And 
I'm going to upload your new picture that I took. And there it well, is. I moved. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> Not a problem. So now I'm just going to hit begin analysis, which is down on the bottom. Okay, so for the energetic affirmation, this, um, you don't have to use this. I always like to include this in all my scans. It just gives a, just an extra depth into the scan. You can use whatever affirmation you like. If you're, some people um, like to work on different affirmations every day. You could put more than one in if you like. I just generally like to put in all energies are transmuted into pure light. Denise, you've gone a little quieter. I have? Yeah. Huh. So can, you can't hear me at all? No, we can hear you, but it, you sound a little more distant. I have my I volume it, all the way up. Yeah, I think it's after the voice harmonics or something. Um, maybe it will change in a minute. Let me know if okay. it changes. I don't want to scream, so. <laughs> no, please don't. Let me see what happens after we run this in. Okay, any change in my sound level? No, it's still quite distant. I don't know if anybody else is finding it distant or whether it's normal yeah well donna was shaking her head i mean can you not hear me at all or you could hear you me? you heard but what's what's happening is that i think the app is the app being done on your computer is it being shared with the zoom yes so what's happening is that the the, the attention of the mic is being divided between the app because i hear the app the app is coming through loud and clear but your voice is taking a set a step back and I think once you're done with this, I think your voice will return, will resume. Okay, I hope, well, I hope so, but we've had it working before, so I'm not sure why, but um, we'll see how it goes. Let's just see, did I press any buttons that may, I don't think so. I know that I see a new button on here called remote control. I don't know what that is, but anyway um so i ran the scan i just want to make sure i have um all libraries that i add i'm gonna have to just waiting for them to upload and add them to client And then one more time to get the master branch. They should be there, but um, okay. So now we have that done. So basically, how the genius works, it uses a numerical value system. So the range of uh, goes from zero to seven hundred and seventy-seven that we work with. Can you hear me? You can? Oh, good. Um, so the range from zero to 100 is represented by the color blue. That represents, um, it's observed to be chronic um, energetic disturbances. And that can often in Chinese medicine be described as stagnant energy or um, under energy. Then we go, to the next range is 101 to 450. That's represented by the color green. And then we go to from 451 to 780 to 688, and that's represented by the color yellow. And I just want to point out the green and yellow. Um, 
I never like to use the word like really normal. It's just because there isn't like a center point where you want it to be. It just is basically on like how in balance that they are. You're never going to get everything like perfectly balanced. So there, it, just like our energy is always um, moving, so is like the scale of everything balancing out. And even though we have items that are, are showing to be green or yellow, which would tell us that they're not as out of balance as the blues or the reds are, they can, um, when we look at it in our main hold tray that we'll get to later, they can um, actually, when in relationship to other items in that main hold tray, they may tend to become more out of balance. So I'm just trying to, cause I get the question all the time, like, oh, the greens are normal and yellows aren't normal. They're just, it's just the degree of how much um, balance they are in. So anyway, after you, um, the last range is, goes from 689 to 777. That's represented by the color red. And that uh, represents acute energetic disturbance. So a disturbance that's uh, more present. It, it's just happening. It hasn't been um, out of balance for a long period of time. And in Chinese medicine, that could be referred to as heat or inflammation. And also a lot of times you'll hear um, over energy. So um, also when we're working with meridians a lot, we'll refer to it as over energy or under energy. So I hope that helps um, explain um, what all these colors and numbers represent. We then have on the left, the arrows, and they're here just to let us know that when we click on the line that there's more information, we can go a little bit um, deeper into our knowledge. And then also you can see these little like magnifying glasses. They're just telling us a little definition of what we have here. Um, so, uh, that's telling us the essential oils are high plant frequencies. But if you did in fact go into each, uh, click on the line, it will then give you a brief description of each essential oil. So cardamom is good for digestion, respiratory and circulatory. So um, that just will give a little indication of maybe why it's out of balance for you. If maybe there are some digestive issues or respiratory or circulatory, or maybe a combination or both. Um, so um, I just wanted to explain that a little bit as we're working with the uh, newest version here um, of the Genius 2.0. So the next thing I want to point out is that after the initial analysis is done, the genius will then um, list the categories in order of where it sees the greatest energetic disturbance. So right now for you, Donna, it's saying that it's mostly in your body and then it goes to your bio field, mind, and then to the custom libraries. So before we get any further, I just want to go to your aura. And if I click on this line, it will allow us to get your aura picture. So I'm just going to hit begin. And So here um, we like to see brighter um, colors. The colors that are represented are the colors that we see in the different chakras. Um, we like to not have dark colors here on the outside. So we definitely wanna work with that. And I think um, it's really working with the spiritual energy today and going a little deeper with entangled insights is going to be um, really helpful in working with that. And um, what else can I show you? Also on this, on the newest build, although it's not um, yet perfected, it still needs a little bit tweaking for, I'm using my MacBook Air. Um, you could also revert back to the old 
um, way of viewing it. It's not actually coming in all the way, but it is interesting to see this line on the bottom here um, that would represent some form of interference or something that's coming through. So anyway, um, but I'm just gonna go back to the new way to look at it. Um, and we will check back in later and see how this is, how we're doing, how that's looking. The first thing I wanna work on is um, we're gonna uh, go to my custom libraries and prime your body a little bit. Anybody who's here weekly knows that I like working with um, the minerals and mostly all of the elements in the bio field to just prime your body to make it um, more receptive to taking in frequencies. Um, and we are gonna do that in just a second. Let's just take a quick peek at what your today's stress looks like for you. So we're seeing hormonal pathogens, blood sugar, brain virus are all red. And then if we look at anything that's above 600, and often we look at items that are 600 and above and 200 and below, which brings in a few yellows and some greens because ultimately often when once they're in the main hold tray, those can pop up and show as a high priority when they're looked at in relationship to others, uh, the other items. So we just wanna make sure that we're not missing anything. So, I will just, um, I'm not gonna add them in right now because we are gonna go look at that other library. I just wanted to take a peek what was in here. And we're seeing environmental sensitivities, kidneys, emotions, immune system, and they were all fall below 200. But we'll come back and touch base on this. Let's first just go and, um, I didn't wanna hit that, go to the custom libraries. Now, Donna, I didn't mention, I know that we spoke briefly on an email. You don't have any pain or anything today. Do you have any kind of emotional upset or anything today or anything in particular? No, actually, I'm feeling really well. So that's why it's interesting to see what this brought up. Because I was hoping my aura would be brighter because I'm actually... <laughs> well, don't forget, this is just a quick snapshot. You know, yeah. it's always moving. You know, I don't know what you were doing before. I Maybe we're in front of the computer and you're getting interference that way. You know, who knows? It could be, it could be anything, but hopefully. I'm we'll... cleaning my office, if that means I'm dusting. And well, so... maybe, maybe you're stirring up some, you know, that yeah. could be why the environmental was showing up. You know, it will, we'll have to. <laughs> in a more spiritual perspective instead of, um, you know, a lot of times we're looking at it from to heal physical ailments, but often when we work with um, spiritual protection, uh, these negative energies or low vibrational energies, they get entangled with heavy metals or viruses or bacteria or fungus. So it's just another way to go in and look at it. And maybe if we can, you know, like marry them together and free them up and look at them together, we can help um, uh, get clear some of those. So I'm just going to go into the search for the library here. And put in my, the bio terrain. And we're gonna to go to the vessel priming and I'm just gonna add all of these items in here. And let's just put it on one minute. And I'm gonna select all and play. Oh, I forgot I have my, um, <laughs> I put my 3D animation on. I hope this is okay if no one minds looking at this. Okay. 
Denise. Yeah. May I ask a question while this is running? When you and Dr. Drake were doing the classes for the file twins, did you suggest a time for priming or is it as our intuition leads us? Well, you could use your intuition, but you could also go by the rectification. demo so I may not run it as long but it um, it's telling us and it does appear that you you have a great average percent rectification so that's great I'm just going to rescan it and then I'm just going to run the highs I would, I might... um, we're working on the highs in here too so I'm just going to run the highs now for one minute. So again, for anyone that does not have the 3D animation, um, or I'm using the 3D animation, that's why this may look different from what you have right now. Um, but it's just visually when you're running the scans of protection that's in this library that we're already running but that's okay because we'll still be able to work with the entangled insights and again good job um, you responded excellent 45 percent rectification so that's really great i'm going to back out of here and i am going to clear this um, main hold tray here for you since you did well we can always add it back if we needed to and I am going to go, sh now I'm going to go into the general overview, which I normally like to do second. If we're looking at like a protocol of what I like to do, first I like to do the vessel priming and then I'll go into, if you click on system overview, it takes you into the general overview. And I'm just going to hit begin. And I'm going to add the top 50 and the bottom 50. Uh, I'm not going to look through all 100 elements, but we can see in here we're working with some chakra points, um, some parasite um, libraries are in here. Um, limbic arc it deals with some vitamins parasites again um now for anybody when this comes up because i never want people to i just want to make sure everybody is clear that the genius is not diagnostic in the allopathic sense it is identifying energetic disturbances so when we see certain words um, that could be alarming to people or trigger people, it is not a diagnosis. It is not a diagnosis. It just means that there are frequencies and we all have these frequencies that come in and out of our field all the time. This is also red. So this is just, it's not something that's been there on a chronic level. So you know, it's just something that has to come up. But in this particular case, it the frequency that it's actually identifying is 528 hertz. So, you know, why is it picking it up from this particular library? Um, it's just, you know, the library has a certain frequency and then it must, you know, with the algorithms identify it um, in some way with that. So, Anyway, I just wanted to touch base on that. We can, if we click the zero to 100, we can change the view. So we can see that some of the items on the lower end that would appear to be more chronic 
Um, again, this is um, an essential oil for animal products. Now it just might be, you know, whenever there are these essential oils, they're really used for humans and pets. It's just branded in this one particular way. So that frequency is showing up for you. Um, some brain areas are in here. Anyway, I don't, I want to get back to the demo so that we don't waste too much time in here. I just wanted to demonstrate that it is, I find it so important to be able to do this general overview because it's more than likely we wouldn't know to go into some of these libraries and um, look for these items to work on. And these could be root causes of some issues that you're working with or some things that actually need to be cleared. So So let's run all of these items for one minute. excellent rectification, 51%. So that's amazing. The harmony alignment and energy flow, there's a little bit of a, a range in there. So I would really run this again. I'm just going to rescan it and run just the highest for a minute. this was a little bit lower rectification. However, your harmony and alignment and energy flow all seem to be pretty close and balanced. So that is, you know, 25% is still a good rectification there. I am going to back out of here now. And I am going to clear once again, everything in the main whole tray, so that we have some room to work with. Now, when we go into the spiritual protection. So you've been doing some good work. It looks not too many reds and blues, but we can work with these. So we can look at, um, let's look at all these negative energies that we want to clear. So if I click on this, it will bring the entangled insights. And when we um, click on load all insights. It's going to give me, this is like a large, really large database. So you can look at everything in this database, 
or you can look in specific areas and this list is large. So um, you guys, you might just want to take some time when you have some free time and just look through everything that's in this database because it is expansive. But um, for now, I'm going to hit load all. And I'm going to hit check now on the bottom. So what this is doing now, it's giving us an idea of what may be entangled with these negative energies that are trying to clear that's been there more chronically. It might be that you need to, you know, run some of these to clear both of them in order to like really clear it. Otherwise, you know, even though you work on it, it just doesn't go away. Um, this does not have like a, the top 50 and bottom 50. So I'm not going to put, I will just put um, everything that's a hundred percent in here. Otherwise, um, it's going to take too long because I'm dragging and dropping them all, but you can, um, expand on that percentage. You could, uh, choose to work with everything that's, uh, 95 and above. Oh, I got that one already. And now I'm going to scroll down and look at, whoops. And I am going to put in uh, the ones that are 1%. Um, again, you know, Dr. Deb and I, and she's great at teaching this, but if you look at these on like a bell curve, you're going to have 100% over here and 1% and at the other end. And and you're going to have your center mark is where you're in homeostasis. And then you have your standard deviations out. So I am going to pull in everything that's 1%. Again, um, you can broaden that range, but for the sake of the demo and that it's a little bit um, labor intensive to drag and drop all of these individually, I'm just going to stick with the 100% and the 1%. And we have some parasites in here, not a surprise. So we have about 33 items. Um, I am going to go out now and I am going to look at all the non-beneficial cords. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'll load the entire matrix. Now, cords, um, you could have, most of the time when people think of cords, they're to people, but you can have cords to objects or to certain items. So um, if you're wondering why, um, you know, things like toothache or other things may show up with as non-beneficial cords. It doesn't, I would expect to see emotions in here. Obviously there's not gonna be people's names in here. Um, but um, a lot of times when we think of cords, we do have beneficial cords. Um, mothers and children have beneficial cords, but a lot of times um, you can have um, cords that aren't for everybody's highest and best all the time. And those, hopefully, we can clear. So I'm just going back in here and getting all those that are You have the one that says sharpen eyesight. How nice if you can sharpen your eyesight today. Um, we have 61 items. So again, I'm just going to I'll work on dark energy in here and I'll keep redoing the same thing until we build a little bit into our main whole tray.
Oh, thank you, Claire, for answering. Yes, Lisa, um, we did ask for that to be put in to help um, with the numbers. So hopefully that will be something that can be added um, very soon. So let's just add now for all dark energy, everything that's 1%. It certainly um, would make this less um, labor intensive. And you can do this, you know, with your sacred geometry, you can do this with your chakras. So it doesn't necessarily have to be to identify um physical ailments Oh, how'd we just get so many? Well, I don't know what just happened there, but we're gonna run it. We have 263 items. I thought it just said 63 a minute ago, but. Okay, so we do have a bunch of bacteria that's showing up in here. Um, So let's just work on that. Let's hit all. We're gonna go run um, all twice and rescan in between and then run all the highs for three minutes. Now the 3D graphics is not taken into consideration whether the client is male or female. It's just a general So I don't know if you heard me, um, but Julie said I grabbed bacteria all. I thought I grabbed all of everything in. So that's why there's so many and that's why it's very heavy on bacteria. I don't know, I don't believe in mistakes. So hopefully this was something that was needed um, to be worked on. So let's rescan. <laughs> We can hit play, uh, hit all, and then play again for one minute. You had a 23% rectification here, and also the harmony alignment and energy flow. There's a bit of like about a 20% range in there. So hopefully that will close up a little bit.
responded well here. So now I'm going to rescan. And after that, we'll look, take a look and see what your aura looks like and then run some closing um, frequencies. patterns. I'll see cons consistent ones as I've been using my genius. Do you can you comment to the patterns at all? Can you hear me okay if I'm talking right now? Yeah. Sometimes you'll see that they're um, like more scattered. And sometimes you see that when you have more. Sometimes they I mean, it's just, there's a lot more that has to be like entrained, I guess, in there. I, I don't, I don't really analyze it so much. But, I, but they're the energy interesting really, to... they don't appear to be organized right now. Would be. Claire, do you, what is your view on that? I thought something had been said about the more complex it was there was more sort of um like more disorganized it's more disorganized yeah. now more and the simple is is more coherent Okay, so you had 33% rectification. Um, I'm happy with that for right now. Let's go back and see if we can see what your oral looks like. And hopefully. <laughs> I mean, I don't, all of this dark in here, um, I would still want to work on, which is why I'd like to go now and work on, um, go to some of the Alaskan libraries and work with grounding to try to settle some of these frequencies in here for you to see if that helps. Let's look at the grounding. I'm going to clear this tray. And I'm going to add all the items in here. So let's hit all and we'll run this for one minute.
you have a 31% rectification. I'm going to go and add in, um, oh, what happened to them? I want to add in the environmental essences. And I don't know why that didn't work for me to drag it in, but. And you can run this for I wasn't working on the Savegios right now, Claire, but I don't know if yeah. that's what you mean. It's in answer to Margaret's um oh okay. Listing of the three D. So let's see now how your aura works at looks after working with those frequencies. <laughs> So it's dark, it's not as dark, um, but you, we still have this dark in here. How much time do we have left? So let's, um, I'm gonna add the, your neurotransmitters up top and some emotions. And let's see, let's add 528 and a flower of life. And I'm just gonna run this in quick zap for a minute. Although the toggle is on the bottom up at the top, you could see the minutes changing, although it's very tiny up there. And I'm just going to hit the play button. what your aura looks like. So that's starting to look much better. Um, you know, we obviously you could still tweak it. This 
you know, you may want to work, but the, the, those dark, like dirty undertones are working its way out. And I like seeing the green and the different shades of purple in here. How are you feeling? Well, interestingly, during this process, my tinnitus kicked in and now it's coming back down. So you've been definitely. Oh, really interesting. Yeah. So, yeah, so it's been hopefully. Now, does that kick up often for you? Always yeah. with the genius or? It's, I haven't figured out a pattern, but it's something I'm trying to address with my genius. So, but it was fine. And then doing the work that you've done, it was, oh, so it was starting to rain again. And then it seems to calm back down. So. Okay. Well, hopefully it's clearing some stuff out in there. Mm hmm Definitely um, follow up with me and let me know how that's doing. Does um, anybody have any questions? We have about five minutes left. I can do a little bit more tweaks if you'd like, or if anybody has questions, I'm happy to help answer some. Did you have any more questions, Donna? Do you feel anything else, your mood or anything else that may? No, this was really good. Thank you, Denise. You're welcome. I hope that helped you with entangled insights a little bit. I hope it didn't um, overwhelm you. I don't know if you really looked at it at all or. No, I, I've i been focusing a lot on the bio terrain. Okay. So, when the, so it's just sort of where my head's at the last several months. So it's nice to know some other. It's been explained before in the training, but it's nice to be refreshed. Well, and you can always go in. Don't forget when we when I went into the um, I can show you really quick actually. Um, let's just clear out this main hole tray. So let's just say you're going into spiritual protection, right? We can um, let's look at the dark energies. You can go into and just look at parasites. And you can see how much of an, you know, what the influence is here. Okay, so. <laughs> that, doesn't, that doesn't really help. So all the parasites um, <laughs> are connected somehow. And then um, the 1%. So, you know, like here, you know, it's kind of interesting, the percentage here, because there are quite an, uh, a bunch. Um, so, I mean, you, you could go in and work on that. Um, if we went back out, let's just see um, entities. Again, we can look at it just for parasites. You know, so this is narrowing it down quite a bit. It's only giving you one that's at 100% for um, um, entities. So, I mean, like, that one might be something you might want to look at, or you could do the 100% and then, you know, anything over 95% on this since, you know, there aren't as many, but it just gives you a different way to, to go in and, and look at things. So that's just, just wanted to give you a different way of skinning the cat, so to speak. Um, so, and Lisa is asking not about today, but can we still do custom playlists? not figured it out since the update. Yes, we can certainly do that. And um, we can work on that next week. Just remind me, um, Lisa, if you wanna volunteer next week and we can um, work on that. And Margaret is asking, are there any past videos on how to use the geo harness? Well, the geo harness, um, I don't really think you need a video so much for it. Basically the geo harness is going to connect to your device by the AUX where you would put plug in your headphones and you're just going to wear the geo harness and instead of hearing the sounds the frequencies are going to go through the bracelet so 
um, there really isn't much more than that. Um, if there's something specific that you're not understanding with the um, geo harness, you can ask the question, but I, I think it, that it's pretty self-explanatory. Um, anyway, with that said, we are at the top of the hour. So I just wanted to thank everybody for being here. And I enjoy working with you every week and um, having Connie and Claire with me. So I'm going to sign off for now. Everybody have a great week. Enjoy the holidays. I know it's a busy time of year. And remember to take time out for yourself and some self-care and love and drink plenty of water. So thank you, everybody. Thank you, Denise. You're welcome.